Well, it was a great weekend to be Kevin Wilson for the first time in Indiana history. They beat Penn State, so let's bring in the Hoosier head coach right now. And Kevin, I got to assume this is the greatest win in your tenure at Indiana, no? Well, to me, uh, Mike, really just uh, very happy for some players for three years. We've been uh, holding them pretty to a pretty high standard, working pretty hard, and uh, there's been some tough sledding and been on the wrong side of the ledger. And I think some players have maintained some great attitude and work ethic, and you get concerned as a coach, are they going to stay with us? So I was really just really pleased for some guys because we've been practicing, working hard. It's not coach speak, but to now play, play a good team and get a good Big Ten win. Uh, got a couple last year, but to start out with a good win against Penn State was uh, uh, very happy for our players and very happy for our fans. We need uh, our fan base to stay with us as we keep building and kind of happy for those guys as well. Well, let's talk about some of those specific players. Now, your defense was so much better in this game versus the last one you played. How come? Um, I, I, you know, we played with some effort and energy, uh, really looked hard at open date on our errors and things that were correctable. If we couldn't correct them, then maybe, you know, that's not correctable. He, he can't do this or we shouldn't be doing that. But uh, really look to just try to get lined up a little bit cleaner, uh, a little more sound, be structurally sounder and cleaner. Uh, really try to make an effort, uh, even though we knew Christian Hackenberg would make some plays and Allen Robinson is uh, maybe the best receiver in this league, uh, one of the best, if not the best. Uh, but we need to stop the run as best we could. Um, and um, again, just thought we put together a simple plan that uh, our, we worked really hard and our, our kids took it to the field and played pretty hard and made enough plays to win. Hey, hey Coach, uh, let me stay with that defense for a second. You just men mentioned structurally sound. When I was in there Friday to do the game and you talked about everything that went into it in the off week and you went at great lengths to really define structurally sound to us. Could you do that once again, please? Well, yeah, I just think sometimes as coaches, <clears throat> excuse me, but as coaches, we've got uh, you know, some young guys and, hey, you're concerned, can this guy do this or this? If you're not careful, you can just start over coaching. You get too many schemes, uh, too much going on. And offenses are so diverse with uh, where's the back? Is it shotgun? Is it pistol? Is it under center? Is it tight end attached, detached? Is it empty? You got all these uh, formation in the back, you name it. And guys are going no huddle. You got to process quickly. I just, I felt we had too many missed errors, missed assignments, mental errors. Which to me, it comes back to me as the coach and, and our defensive coaches. Let's don't overdo it. So let's make sure we get a direction to set our front. Let's make sure we know our front's alignments. If we've got movements, where we're going to. And then our backers, our safeties, our corners know where to fit. And then our back players not only know where to fit, but how to keep the receivers in front of them. So uh, it, uh, it wasn't rocket science. But I do think as, as we've been building, we've probably just coached enough to get in the way. We tried to clean up our coaching and, and put together a plan where our kids go, could go be a lot more aggressive with, with the way they played. Hey, Coach, you've had some injuries on the offensive line since earlier in the season. How are they playing and how would you assess their play moving forward? You know, they're doing well, and they're going to get a, a tremendous challenge this week with Michigan State and their front and their pressure and, 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 the, and the great play they get it back or in the way they stretch you out. But, uh, you know, Greg Fryerline, coach, is an awesome coach. It's year three, so we do have a lot more depth of kids that have been in the program three years. A lot of the guys were playing several backups, but they're third-year players, so they're mature. They're physically gotten stronger. They understand our concepts. We did have a, a slight injury the other day with one of our guards, David Kaminsky, but when that happened, we took – a returning starter that was kind of back with us, Bernard Taylor back in the mix. So we've we've lost a couple linemen. We're not playing as clean as we need or as well as you'd like to play. But those guys are battling. They're giving us a chance to, to get some run game going. It's still going to be a struggle playing the best run defense in the maybe the country this week. But uh, to get some run game going and to get some protection for our quarterback. So uh, line plays working. Uh, but Greg Fry and his guys are doing a solid job and. They got a huge test this week and in the weeks to come here with these uh, Big Ten teams coming up. We're talking with Kevin Wilson, the head coach of the Hoosiers. And let me talk to you about your quarterback, Nate Sudfeld. From where he was in the summer, not number one or number two on the depth chart, to looking so impressive week after week, what's been different about him this fall? Uh, I think he handled the competition well. And, and, and quite honestly, we, we had a, a, a three-man race with Cam Kaufman that played well for us last year. Uh, Trey Roberson, who was our starter from a year ago, very athletic guy. And we didn't really say anyone was one, two, or three. We kind of worked them even reps. 
Uh, Nate was a little bit more steady down the end and, and can definitely make some passing plays. We were able to get Trey going a little bit last week, and we'd, we'd like to continue to take advantage of him and not be a wildcat guy. He throws the ball great. we got to keep expanding maybe his package a little bit because he can make some plays with his feet. Nate's played well, but Nate's not close to what he needs to be. He uh, statistically did some nice things Saturday, but he missed some things. He went the wrong way with some balls. Sometimes he's scrambling because he got bluffed on coverage. Uh, we, we've got a kid. He's, he's only got three starts. Played a little bit last year as he complimented Cam. Split time, although he played the bulk of game one and game two. He's got three true starts. So he's got a lot of work to do. So does Trey Roberson, and so does so is our whole football team. So um, it's nice to have a little success, but we're only three and two. Uh, we want to be better than that. We've got a great challenge this week. So uh, we need Nate to get better. We need our whole football team to get better. And uh, Nate's, got, Nate's got a great future, but he's not close to what he needs to be right now. Coach, prior to the uh, Penn State game, talking to Seth Luttrell, your offensive coordinator, the first thing he talked about was we got to get the running game going, which means the line has to block better. And he really emphasized the backs have to run more physical and break some tackles. Could you evaluate how the backs played, please? I thought they did. I mean, Tevin Coleman, I think, is a, you know, a solid quality back. Again, his first year starting as a sophomore. Uh, so here's a guy with five. He was a complimentary player last year. He's kind of coming into his own. I think he can be a quality player in this league. He's doing well. He's got to get, get better in the, in, the, in the protection game and, and keep coming along. First game since I've been here, we had some guys that were role players play as great teammates. And I think that's why it was a good team win. Had some plays in the kicking game, played better in run defense, better defense, offense clicked. And we had some great teammates step up. And I think that's why we had a solid team victory last week. And we'll need it this week because we're playing an awfully strong team this week uh, in the Spartans. The arrow is pointing up for this Hoosier program. Kevin Wilson, head coach of Indiana. Thanks for the time. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys.